Hello, welcome to the guide about changing system font, icons, and emojis in Windows 10 Mobile. First, download these three registry files, then move them to anywhere in your phone, I will move to Downloads folder. Now to your phone, open File Explorer and go to the Default Documents folder. There you need to create three folders. First is a folder named Fonts. Second is icons. And the third one is emojis. Do not make any mistakes with names. Then to get the fonts, icons and emoji system files, we are going to use Windows 10 Mobile Group Repository in Windows Universal Tools application. Open the app. Then load the repositories. Once loaded, go to Windows 10 Mobile Repository and then to Personalizations folder. There you will find three folders which contains these files, since we regularly add contents to repositories. A cache refresh to this folder will be ideal to get the latest new contents always. Let's see how to change system font. First, let's grab a custom system font file from the Windows Universal Tools repositories. Choose any font you want. Each font folder contains the font file and a preview picture of the font as well. If you want to use the special font, then you will have to use the reg file in there instead of the one we use for all other fonts. That said, download any font file you want. After download is complete, go to the file in File Explorer and select Move to move the file. Then move it to the fonts folder you created in documents folder while in preparations. Thereafter, open the interop tools app. Choose the Import Registry File option and select the registry file named Set Custom Font. Import it and restart your phone.
When it boots back, you will see the new font you chose is applied to the system. Now that we know how to set a custom font, we also need to know how to switch between different custom fonts. So let's see how to set another font file while using a custom font. Open File Explorer and go to the Fonts folder in Documents folder. Move the font file in there to outside of the Fonts folder. Then go download another custom font file from Windows Universal Tools application. After downloading the new font file, find it and move it to the fonts folder. Then reboot your phone. After the reboot, you will notice that the new font is now applied instead of the previous font. Now go to File Explorer and delete the old font file we placed in Documents folder. Do the same for any font file when you need to switch fonts. Secondly, let's see how to change system icons. Don't get confused between system and application icons, they are two different things. Before getting into anything, go download a custom icon file from the Windows Universal Tools app. Then just like in the font change, select to move the downloaded icon file but this time, move to icons folder instead. Once done, go open interrupt tools. Then import the set custom icons registry file. Once imported, restart your phone. After your phone boots back, the icon file you placed in icons folder will be the default system icon file now. Every app which uses the system icons in the apps will also get the new icons although it's completely depend on how the app is coded. For an instance, File Explorer uses the system icons hence its icons are changed. Knowing how to change to a custom icon file is not enough. You will need to know how to switch between custom icon files too cause you will need to do it someday. Open File Explorer and go to the Icons folder in Documents. Then move the custom icon file to outside of the Icons folder.
Then go download another custom icon file from Windows Universal Tools app. Move the downloaded icon file to the icons folder in Documents. Then simply restart the phone. The icons will be changed to the newly placed icon file. Now you can delete the old icon file which we moved out from the icons folder. Lastly, we get to know how to change system emojis to a custom pack. Just like with previous chapters, first download a custom emoji file from the Windows 10 Mobile Group repository in Windows Universal Tools application. Then when the download is complete, move the downloaded emoji file to the emojis folder in documents folder. Then open interop tools. There import the set custom emojis registry file. Reboot the phone once done. The new emoji pack will be applied after the reboot. Now let's see how to switch between different emoji files, it's pretty much the same as the rest. First open file explorer and go to the emojis folder in documents. Move the emoji file in there to outside of the folder. Then download another emoji file from Windows Universal Tools application. Move the downloaded new emoji file to the emojis folder in documents. Then restart your phone. Then the new emoji file you chose should be applied. Also go to File Explorer. And then to Documents. Delete the old emoji file. That's it. 
Now you know how to change system font, icons, and emojis in Windows 10 Mobile. It is essential to know how to restore to the default font, icons, and emojis too. For that, download all three of these registry files, then move them to anywhere in your phone. I will place them in the downloads folder. Then continue on with the guide. Now as you can see, I have a custom blue font. To restore that to the default Seago font, open Interop Tools. Then use the import registry file function to import the restore system font registry file. After importing the reg, restart the phone. When the phone booted back, you will see that the default font is applied now. In this phone, I have a custom Windows 11 icon file set as the system icons. To restore that to the default Seago MDL2 icons, open Interop Tools. Then use the import registry file function to import the restore system icons registry file. After importing the reg, restart the phone. When the phone boots back, you will see that the default icons are applied now. As for the emojis, this device is set to use the custom Windows 11 emoji file. To restore that to the default Seago emojis, open Interop Tools. Then use the import registry file function to import the restore system emojis registry file. After importing the reg, restart the phone. When the phone boots back, open the emoji picker and the default emojis should show up.